Um, is this a trap? Oh, Billy boy. Oh, Danny boy. The lights, the lights are calling you. I love the podcast. I hope you can give me some perspective on this issue. I am in my early 30s, and I've been married for five years. My wife and I recently have been having a sexual resurgence in our relationship. After a big lull caused by the birth of our two kids and me putting on some extra weight, that's very honest, uh, we are back to fucking as much or more than we did when we first started dating. You know, that was coming off like really like uh, you were a mature man, and then you went right down to my level. I don't have to birth of our two kids there's been a sexual resurgent and uh you know i put on some extra weight but uh dropped a few pounds and we're back to fucking as much as we used to. um here's a tip for married men if you want more sex out of your wife get your ass to the gym it worked for me there you go there you go here's a guy practicing what i have preached for the six fucking years that i've been doing this podcast by the way Next month is the six-year anniversary of me starting this podcast, okay? So I am expecting some, um, I don't know what, some sort of congratulations. I should have done it yet last year when it was the five-year anniversary. Um, So this guy's going to the gym. That's right. He's getting the pecs going. He's fighting off the man tits, you know? He's he's fucking not having that big uh, former fucking uh, rock star goddamn gut. You got to get rid of that shit. And you'll live longer. I read something one time or overheard it in the bar, knowing, knowing me, that every extra pound of fat that you have is, is, is five miles of capillaries that your heart has to pump blood through. Just saying. Extra five pounds, 25 more miles of capillaries. So you can imagine if you're 30 pounds overweight, holy fucking shit, that's, that's a fucking road trip. 150 miles. You got to get it off. Um, that's why you always see little old ladies and little old men. You don't see jolly old fat 90 year old guys. You don't, they're gone. You know, other than Bill Russell, have you ever seen like a fucking 70 year old seven footer? There's a reason for that. Your heart has to fucking pump all the way down to the tippy toes. Okay. Also, my wife has been open and willing to do any manner, manner of depraved sexual shit that I can think of. Jesus, dude. He goes, I am living the dream. I feel like I won the wife lottery. Well, I would say you do. If she's a great mother, too, that's phenomenal. So he goes, so here's the issue. Uh Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to guess that she wants to bring somebody else into the bedroom. I'm going to guess that you fucking open Pandora's box. And the way this is read, if it's another woman, you don't give a shit. I'm guessing she wants another dude. That's what I'm guessing. She wants a little rotisserie action there. little Boston market. Um, (laughs) Here we go. So here's the issue. Um, She has recently been saying that she thinks it would be really hot if I fucked another woman in front of her. Oh! Oh, that went an entirely different direction. She is clear that she doesn't want a threesome. She doesn't want to participate. She just wants to be there. Apparently, this is a fairly common fetish known as being a cuck queen. Did you spell it right? C-U-C-K queen. A cuck queen. All right, people. This is the first word I've learned the definition to since... uh, what is it? Buggering? Being a, uh, getting buggered? Anyways, he says, now I'm a guy. Now I'm a guy, so obviously I'm into variety, and the idea is intriguing. And like I said, she's willing to do basically anything I want to do in the bedroom. So it seems only fair that I would do what I can to fulfill her sexual fantasies. Still, this seems like a bad idea to me. Exactly. Great instinct, sir. I don't know what a reaction is going to be. I don't want to jeopardize my marriage for something like this. What do you think, Bill? Should I just go for it or listen to the voice in my head that says this is a bad idea? If I go for it, how would you suggest actually finding women, a woman who is open to the idea of being fucked in front of my wife? Thanks. All right. Here we go. 
sir, you're 100% right. You can't fucking do this. And, and all the married guys out there who are like, dude, what are you out of your fucking mind? I do that in a fucking second. Fucking second. I know this chick at the office. Not only she fucking banged me in front of the whole fucking office. Hey, love of my life. Look at me over here. I'm fucking banging. Right? All of those guys. Those mouth breathing morons. You know? Who piss on the side of the road when there's a Wendy's with the fucking public bathroom right there. All of those guys don't listen to them. Sir, you're 100% right. Some shit should just remain a fantasy. Okay? Um, your parents. Okay? You have kids. Okay? And when that happens, there's a certain level of uh, maturity that you have to fucking have. Okay? You can't be walking around in the goddamn gimp outfit when at any second your fucking kids can open the fucking door to your bedroom. You know what I'm saying? And there's just going to be, uh, and you're also introducing the chance of you catching a fucking venereal disease. Okay. Cause first of all, any woman that's going to allow you to do that is going to be a freak on some fucking level. And evidently wearing a condom, you can still get herpes. I don't know how. It fucking parrot troops down on your ball bag. I have no idea, but evidently you can. All right? And I got to tell you, some fucking things, some doors should just remain closed. Um, I don't know how I would try to make up in that area. <clears throat> I was going to say, if she wanted to fuck another dude, then you could just act like you were another dude and say a bunch of different dude shit to her while you had her bent over and she's not looking at you so she could feel, you know? You know, maybe wear a different cologne. <laughs> <laughs> but this whole, uh, you know... Why don't you just get a blow-up doll and fuck that in front of her? Huh? You like that? That sound of the fucking... Huh? You like that shit? Oh, yeah. Take it, you whore. Right? Maybe you could do that. I don't know what to tell you, dude, but I'll tell you right now, your instinct to not do it is 100% correct, all right? You did hit the lottery with this woman. And this is another deal, dude. It, you could be gradually opening this shit up. You know, women are phenomenal masters of manipulation, okay? This might be her roundabout way of saying, I want to fuck another guy, okay? And what she's going to do is get you dirty first, Right. Just like politics. We can't have this guy get into the Oval Office unless we got something on him. She's doing she might be doing that same thing. Now, this is just conspiracy theory. Don't look sideways at your wife as you're eating a bowl of fucking corn checks. I'm just throwing this shit out here. All right. This might be her roundabout way of fucking getting her to be able to have a fucking. All right. You get to fuck one. All right. <laughs> and not only does she got to fuck going to fuck him. You got to sit there and watch it. You know. Don't do it. Do not introduce other fucking people into your relationship. All right? Your relationship, when it comes to sex, and if it's going to fucking work, has to be a secret society. As far as my fucking skills go. My skill set, you know, I show up to the gym, people know what I do. <laughs> I got one mid-range jumper. That's all I'm taking. Everybody knows if you can stop it, you can stop it. That's what the fuck I'm coming with. All right? I don't even know how the fuck I went into that analogy. I was supposed to be making fun of me in the fucking bedroom. I have my little bag of tricks. That's all I got. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, here, here's something, because I've never done shit like that. I never went into that area of fucking freak week. I never did that. All right? Um. And I think if you are in a fucking healthy relationship, at some point, both men and women do want a variety. And at some point, it's going to come up and you are going to talk about it and be like, ah, you know, maybe we went to Vegas, maybe. Yeah, but da, but da. and then in the end, you know, usually after you've banged and got that urge out of your system, you lay there and you just look at each other. Yeah. Now, what the fuck are we thinking? We can't do that. It's fucking gross. We can't do we like they would told. No, it's not. I'm not trying to judge people who do shit like that, but it would totally it. you you know what it is. It's a house of cards and you're pulling one out way down near the foundation. It might stay up, but the whole thing might come down and you got some kids in there. So let me ask you this. At the risk of turning this podcast 
into uh, a complete freak show. Not freak show, just, I don't know, because I, I really don't judge people what the fuck they do. Um, is there anybody out there that is married, has a couple of kids, and uh, has has had this scenario? You know, has your wife been cool with it? Did you just bring some girl in and you fucking banged her? You know? Well, what exactly, what is the etiquette when you bang another woman in front of your wife? You know, is she just sitting there watching? You know, like she's watching a chess match. Are you allowed to throw us some looks like, huh? See that? You like that move there, sweetheart? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I, I imagine that there's a bunch of rules. You're not allowed to do it missionary style. If you come, you have to look at me. Don't look at her. I mean, that that's seen like there's all these like, you know what it is? It's like you're starting a new sport. It's kind of like MMA when it first started out and you could punch, uppercut somebody in the balls and gouge their right. You could do whatever the fuck you wanted. And then they'd be like, all right, all right, we need some parameters here. Dana White came in and said, hey, no more fucking uppercuts to the undercarriage. No more eye gouging. No kicking in the face when the guy's on the ground. No punches to the back of the head. He made it civilized. So I imagine that they, there has to be some sort of, um, you know, civility to the fucking another woman in front of your in front of your wife. Um, look, who's kidding who? That would be absolutely phenomenal. But uh, I I just I just couldn't imagine. You know. My woman afterwards afterwards, and the woman leaves, and then I take a shower, right, and then we're sitting down. You know, eating SpaghettiOs. Uh, like, I would so be praying that she started the conversation. If that she was going like, yeah, I thought that was just, wow, I thought that was really, that was really neato. <laughs> <laughs> but the absolute fucking worst is if there would just be complete awkward silence. And then all of a sudden she starts tearing up. Right. And now here you are going, but honey, you told me to do it. And the fucking kids are sitting there. I just didn't think, you know, I know it was my idea, but I just didn't think that you were going to enjoy it that much. You know, you don't come that fast with me. The fucking kids sitting there <laughs> looking like that kid in, in the shining, you know, when he's fucking looking up with that red rum face. And I'll tell you right now. That would be a classic fucking 180 that could possibly happen because of uh, the delicacy of women's emotions. And I don't mean that like they're weaker or whatever. They're more tapped into them or whatever. And like I said, this also could be some fucking top shelf pimp shit that she's doing where she really wants to go fuck another guy and she knows well the male ego i can't come at him with this you know and if her mindset is like hey it's just sex she's trying to get you on the same tape uh, page she has to get you fucking she's got to get you dirty first so um <clears throat> i don't know but like i said if there's people out there who've done this shit please email me because i'd love to i'd love to know um give me a quick scenario of what happened and then give me a long detailed it's not the act i get it the picture's been painted i want to know the aftermath i want to know afterwards like what the how the fuck i want to know what was the first topic that was discussed other than the fact that your wife had an outer body experience of as far as like the whole intercourse with you you know and what is she doing? Is she saving this up to think about later? Or is she literally engaging from across the fucking room? You know? Basically doing the sexual version of the guy who goes to the game with his face painted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Great email, by the way, sir. 
Great fucking email. You want to bang another woman in front of your wife because that's what she's into? Well, God bless you. Put on a fucking j- Gators, bitches, wear jimmies. Put on a jimmy and have a good fucking time. Oh, you know what? I didn't answer his last one. He said, if I go for it, how would you suggest actually finding women who is open to the idea of being fucked in front of my wife? Yeah, I mean, you're going to you're gonna have to find somebody who's... Uh, I would I would try and find somebody who was really advanced in their career. You know, like a lawyer. They they have to have a certain level of job. I wouldn't go on fucking Craigslist and sign find somebody who works at a Baskin Robbins who's down for doing something like that. That you know what I mean? You're trying to go out and find the cleanest person you can. And uh I would just lay it out on the table. Put it on the table. And I'd have everybody get fucking tested. And then I'd still wear a condom and then I'd have at it. And then, you know, as far as the SpaghettiO conversation afterwards, that's on you.